Hello orchid friends! Today's video is about mites. Don't worry, you'll see better footage in a minute when I'm finished talking. At the moment you can see me having troubles catching them on camera. I don't have a microscope, just a little magnifying glass and those little creatures are definitely not easy to catch on camera because they are very fast and I'm very clumsy watching and filming them through the lens of my camera and the magnifying glass at the same time. Everything is filmed on my spiral bound notepad with squares of 5mm. It happened multiple times that I had to keep the mites from running over the edge of the notepad. Most of the clips are in real time, I put a note on the screen if it's in slow motion. I recently told you about my spider mite problem and after having released the video I started to think about how I could get rid of them without having to use poison again. I decided to use a mineral oil based spray for the second treatment. I cannot tell you the final result. I don't see any spider mites or further damage, but that doesn't mean there isn't any. What I found on the bottom of some decorative pots are these little animals and I suppose they are predatory mites. I found two different types. Here you see the prey of at least one of the predatory mite species. First I thought it could be moss mites because they are black and shiny, but the moss mites that I know are usually bigger than these tiny creatures. I think I don't have any moss mites here. I think they could be little beetles because they are too flat for moss mites, which you will see in a second. But what comes next is pretty amazing, it's the action part of the video. One of the predatory mites attacks and catches one of those little beetles. It looks like it's dancing around it. The mite is red, but I'm sure it's not a spider mite. It's way too fast and obviously interested in the black little beetle. It could be Phytocellulus persimilis, which do eat spider mites. You can buy those as natural defense against spider mites. But to be honest, I know way too little about mites to tell you the difference between them. After it got a hold on the beetle, the mite ran over the notepad, maybe to find a safe place to feed on it. The second species that I found is bigger and a bit slower than the other species. I can only count three pairs of legs, but from what I've read, there are predatory mite species with only three pairs of legs and it seems to have feelers or tentacles, which could be legs as well, which are used to explore the environment. I hope you liked this video about the bugs crawling in my decorative pots. I'd love to hear if I'm the only one or if you also have those tiny roommates. I hope you enjoyed the video, thanks very much for watching and until next time!